Hi there! You're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we're meeting in the studio and we're going to transplant three little house plants that I could not resist and picked up from the store the other day. Plus, this is a store that's never carried houseplants before, so I definitely wanted to encourage them to keep to keep growing houseplants or to keep bringing them in. So, um, what I have here is a little tiny Aglomedia Kanza, and I think this is White Edge. It doesn't say. And then I have oh, the other one sitting over there. I have a burgundy rubber tree or ficus and this is the one that has some burgundy new growth and and I have Mimantanthus. I don't know. I don't know that word. Um, this is Shady Lady Heidi. And I just loved all of these. This one has such a glossy, dark green leaf. So beautiful. I've been wanting a rubber tree ficus for quite some time. Um, they get quite large, so I needed to be in a space that it can it can get big. It doesn't love, ficuses don't love to be moved around a lot. So I needed to make sure that wherever she ends up, she can kind of stay there. And then this is an egg. I have several different kinds of eggs and they do great in my house. So just, you know, everyday tropical kind of plants. We're gonna get them potted up and in a little bit bigger of containers so that they have room to grow and some fresh soil. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the little tiny one and we're going to put that this egg in this pot. It is quite a bit bigger. Oops. Quite a bit bigger. Um but you know the next step up from I don't have a container that's the next step up from this little teeny tiny one. I did already pre-moisten my Soil. So this is just um, organic potting mix. Um, it's just all-purpose potting soil. And then I mixed in a couple of cups of perlite to make sure that it's light and fluffy for indoor use. So I'm just gonna put this in here. This has, I think it has its own self-watering. Yeah, so it kind of has a built-in drip dish, but it does have holes. So I'm just gonna put that in there, make a little well for it, and pop this guy out. I'm not gonna disturb the roots. It's not root bound at all. I'm just gonna put it right in there, and maybe just a tiny bit of Soil on top. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna put this pot inside of this container, and then we'll put some uh, some moss around the edge. Here, there's not a whole lot of room for moss, which is fine. I'm gonna tuck it in there. The idea is just to kind of cover up that, uh, the pot that it's planted in. out of the way. Get rid of that one. Okay, then we'll go ahead and pot up the next one. And this is a, a, a little bit more appropriate. It's just slightly larger. 
You can see that and it's just slightly deeper. So this is a nice one step up for this plant. I filled it about halfway, pulled her out of here. Again, the roots are nice and loose, so I don't really want to disturb it so much. I want the crown of the plant to be even with the top of the container and have a little bit of room so that when I water it, uh, the water doesn't spill out. I'm just going to put soil down around the edges. leaves it's okay So we don't want it to be like super packed down in there, but we do want it to be nice and snug. And I'm kind of wondering about these leaves, if they're the kind that I could just pop in the soil and re-root. Let's do that with a few of them and just see what happens. Won't use any of the ones that are obviously on their way like if they're flaccid and not fleshy anymore. So I don't want those. They were probably just not healthy leaves to begin with, but there was a couple that were just sort of like maybe broken just now. So I'll just, um, like this one just fell off though. Shouldn't drop any more in here. They have a little tiny stem. I'm just putting that plus maybe a quarter of the leaf underneath the soil surface. And we'll just see if she wants to live like that. I need a drip tray. All right. A little drip tray in here just set that down in there pop this right in there this one uh, again super tight and you can't actually see the rim of the pot so I am gonna leave it like that and not put any moss in it Are these old ones And then we just have this last one. Let's switch these. And it's certainly deeper, but I know that this uh, ficus can handle that. It's about the same around. So it's just going to give the ficus, which is growing really tall, an opportunity to grow some deeper roots. Nice root system, but still really loose, so I don't really want to disturb the roots too much. Um, just a little bit of dead leaves on the top here that I'm going to just get rid of. The T 
tease the bottom just a tad in case there's any circling roots. Just to give her a gentle reminder that she doesn't have to, see how that came off at kind of a loop? That's because the root didn't have anywhere to go but to circle around the bottom. So now she can go down. Okay, looks like I could just put a little bit more there. Rest of this. Just gonna tap a little bit around the edges. just a dusting of new soil on the top. And that's it for this one. Get these out of the way. It's cleaned up. compost over there so that's why I keep throwing my plant material and this one's gonna go in a big pot that's sitting on the floor over there um, I'll show you a picture in just a moment the rubber tree plant my, my pile of notes over here a phone cord <laughs> but that's where she's gonna live and there's a Swiss cheese plant right there that's going to be in one of the next videos so that we can give her a taller pole to climb. Clearly, she wants to climb. And then I have these grow lights that just give them a little extra sunshine or artificial sunshine anyway. <laughs> it only took a few minutes to do that and now I know that they're in nice fresh soil. I'll water them in uh, the soil's already wet, so I'm really just going to give them a tiny drink just to settle the roots. And then um, the next time I water, I'll water with a organic liquid fertilizer, which I don't have right here. It's in my kitchen. Um, it's just a Espoma's organic indoor plant fertilizer. And then these two will go in the window right here. Um, which is east facing in direct light and then the rubber tree is going to be right off to my side here and it will be underneath a grow light so that and the grow lights on a timer um, and that just ensures that those plants on the side of the room get plenty of light and that's going to do it for today's video I hope that you're celebrating your life and we will see you on the next one Make sure that you have liked and you're subscribed because I post a video almost every single day, something new all the time, and I just really enjoy growing our community. So we'll see you next time. Bye.